Hello, this is Damir for the Droid Effect and this is a custom ROM review about a ROM called Rootbox. First I wanted to explain how I am planning to do my reviews in the future for custom ROMs. I, I thought about changing some things but after then I decided to show you what I wanted to see from a custom ROM review myself. This is how things will go down. First I will give you a feature rundown, then I will tell you some special things about this ROM talk about the performance and after that give you a comparison and some things I would like to change maybe or something like that and give you a small summary about the ROM. Okay, let's start with the feature rundown. The first thing I want to mention is you don't have all the features in one tool. They are a bit of scattered around. The main points where you will find them is the ROM control, the root box settings and the hybrid settings for the Paranoid Android hybrid engine. Let's start with the ROM control. Let's go to general UI. Here we have custom boot animation, disable boot animation, custom carrier label, notification background, notification background alpha, show notification count, status bar brightness slider, status bar behavior, show IME switcher, the extras, show menu UI overflow, the rotations, CRT screen off, the recent RAM bar, list view animation and list view interpolar. I will talk about those two specifically a bit later. Okay, let's go to the lock screen. Here you have lock screen text color, lock screen battery percentage, a low lock screen rotation, volume music control, volume wake, a low widgets, a low unlimited widgets, hide initial hints, use widget carousel and long press actions. The next thing is the power menu. Here you have screenshot, torch, Airplane mode, volume states, profile, expanded desktop, system bar toggles, and reboot on lock screen. Let's head over to the navigation bar. Here we have, like always, menu location, menu visibility, menu arrow keys, navigation bar button controls, pretty much the regular stuff, glow animation, hidden bar enable, and configure widgets. The next thing will be the navigation ring looks like always here you can assign up to five targets with long press actions nothing special about that it's like it is let's head over to the ribbons pretty much basic standard here it's the newest version that's important you have everything available let's head over to the toggles you have the toggle setup toggle style where you can change from tiles traditional and scrollable Collapse shade on toggle click, toggles per row, tile background style, set random color, set tile background color, set pressed background color, set tile text color. Then we have battery. You can change the icon style, huge variety here, and the battery bar location and the battery bar color and battery bar thickness. Then we have the clock. Here you can change the clock style from right center to no clock. AM PM style, the date, the clock color, clock short click, long click and double click actions. Then we have signal, signal indicator style, show signal bars, show signal text or show with DPM, Wi-Fi signal indicator style, hide signal, hide signal bars and also you can change the colors. The last thing here would be sound, less frequent notifications, headphones plugged in action, Bluetooth A2 DP connection action and face down audio mode. Okay, now let's go to the root box settings. Here are a lot of settings which are in use island in the U tool itself, but here they are in its own specific root box settings app. Here we have the Pi controls, pretty much the standard. We don't have the Slim Pi, one thing I have to mention, but a lot of people prefer the PA. Pi anyways. Then we also have the Halo, Enable Halo, Halo Policy, Size, Halo After Activity, Reverse Halo, Pause Active App and the custom colors and such things. Then we have the low battery warning. Pop up and sound, pop up only, sound off and off. Then we have the battery pack, enable or disable per app color for battery icons. The next thing we have here is the kill all button. You can change the position here. Disabled bottom right, bottom left, top right or top left. 
as you can see here I have mine at the bottom left you can change the position to all the four corners then we have the recent style you have two options stock and root box you know stock and root box looks like this if you have the dark mode enabled it will look in a kind of different darker style then we have the options for the keyboard show enter key disable full screen keyboard auto keyboard rotation volume key cursor control the next thing is lock screen lock screen see through background screen security then status bar notification draw briefing sms briefing missed call show wi-fi network name notification shortcuts notification behavior notification icon opacity power widgets you can customize the clock widget when in sound we have volume panel style headset volume adjust sound swap volume buttons and media control okay and the next big thing is the hybrid settings these are pretty much the complete usual parent android options for the hybrid engine with color and everything it's on the latest update so you won't miss anything here okay this was the feature rundown and now let's head to the special things about this rom i want to talk about okay now i want to show you the list view animation you have a huge bunch of them you have off wave left wave right scale alpha stack top stack bottom unfold fold translate left and translate right what this is i will show you right now let's head over to robert and if I scroll you will immediately see now all the text gets scaled it's a bit janky right now but I think that's because my Chrome is installing okay you see let's change that let's get over to stack bottom you can see then let's try translate Then you also have the list view interpolator. You have the options for off, accelerate interpolator, decelerate interpolator, accelerate decelerate interpolator, anticipate interpolator, overshot interpolator, anticipate overshot interpolator, and bounce interpolator. Let's just show you this one, for example, with scale. Let me show you this in robots. You see, now it has this jump. let's try this in the file explorer it's pretty much the same here this also works let's say in YouTube everywhere where you have the default animations you can use this I think this is qu quite a nice feature it's a lot of fun to play with and it's definitely something different it's a thing I think it's a completely new thing in this ROM but I'm sure a lot of other ROMs will have this eventually at some point okay let's talk about the performance a bit I even have to admit this ROM is even faster than you Xylan all everything is slightly smoother and also slightly more lag free I have to say this is right now the fastest ROM I've ever used and if you are thinking about changing to a 4.3 ROM I have to say it's not quite worth it right now. This ROM right now is faster than a 4.3 ROM. I tested the 4.3 stock and it can't hold up to this one right now. If I would have the chance to choose I would prefer a tool like Island, where all the options and settings are in one place and not cluttered around like here because especially the root box settings they could have easily been integrated into the ROM control but the ROM control right now is pretty much basic AOKP nothing changed here and he all the additional features he added he put in the root box settings but I would have preferred to have them included in the AOKP settings like in US Island okay let's end this review with my summary I have to say it is my daily driver on my phone right now and for the last couple of days even weeks also on my Nexus 7 the ROM is super fast has very good performance in general is very lag free has tons of options maybe even slightly more than New Island but they are pretty much on par if I would have to choose one it would be really hard right now I really couldn't 
Both ROMs, Rootbox and Use Island, are pretty much the best all-in-one ROMs right now available for 4.2.2. I'm sure 4.3 ROMs will come soon, but right now I don't see really any reason to change because 4.2.2 is stable, fast, fully feature-packed and 4.3 ROMs will need some time to catch up with this. And that's why I think right now it's the best thing to go for Rootbox or Use Island, stay on it and maybe wait a couple of weeks until the 4.3 are really rally and can compete with those. Okay, this was it. This was my custom room review. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else, just leave me a comment. Okay, bye.